On April 10th, 1912, the RMS Titanic embarked on its journey from Southampton, England to New York City. Five days into the voyage, the Titanic sank in one of the deadliest commercial marine disasters in history. Millions of dollars worth of artifacts, many belonging to wealthy passengers, were lost at sea. Items included paintings, books, and even a luxury car. While many of the passengers' possessions are still in the North Atlantic Ocean, victories and discovery efforts have brought back mesmerizing tokens of the Edwardian period. Gold jewelry, brooches, pocket watches, and other accessories have been recovered over the years. A traveling showcase that commemorated the 100-year anniversary of the sinking featured lavish gold and jewelry from the wreckage. These artifacts carry extraordinary stories from the Titanic's passengers. In 1994, a travel bag was recovered with a gold locket belonging to passenger Virginia Clark, who was on a belated honeymoon trip with her husband, Walter. The pair was returning to America on the Titanic to celebrate their two-year-old son's birthday, but only Virginia survived the sinking. Other discoveries have been made apart from the wreckage. A gold cigarette case connected to the Titanic was discovered in an English home's cupboard, seemingly forgotten over 70 years after the sinking. This case was gifted to Ernest Brown, a crew member on board the rescue ship RMS Carpathia for saving Sir Cosmo Duff Gordon and his fashion designer wife. Mr. and Mrs. Duff Gordon were later accused of bribing their way off the sinking ship. Inside the case, an engraving reads, In Remembrance of Kindness. These artifacts and the stories behind them give a glimpse into the rich history surrounding the RMS Titanic. Call the number on your screen if you'd like to learn more about Gold's Place in History and Gold's Place in your portfolio.